Today we are going to discuss about 15 poets you need to be reading in 2018. If there's one thing I've realized over the last two decades, it's that most people, even the most ardent of book lovers, do not read enough poetry. I can't tell you why this is. But I can give you the names of 15 poets you should be reading. Just in case you want to fill that gap on your nightstand. The best part is that they're all contemporary, so you can find their collections at your favorite bookstore, and if you fall in love with their work, you can probably find them an event near you. Look, I get it. Poetry has gotten a bad rap. Either you think it's all for kids, like the works of Dr. Seuss and Shel Silverstein, or you think that every poem is just too dense for anyone but a scholar of literature to understand. But every poem isn't Runny Babbitt or The Rhyme of the Ancient Marinier. There's a lot of middle ground, and there's a poet out there for everyone. Whether you like short, sweet poems about falling in love, or long, drawn-out tales of war and famine, one of the poets on this list has you covered. Check out the 15 poets I think you should be reading below, and share your favorites with me in comments. Fatima Asger The co-creator of the Brown Girl web series, Fatima Asger will publish her first full-length poetry collection, If They Come For Us, in 2018. Warson Shire In spite of the fact that her work was featured in Beyoncé's Lemonade, Warson Shire keeps a pretty low profile online. She is the author of two poetry collections, Teaching My Mother How to Give Birth and Her Blue Body. Hugh Min Nguyen Nia Fellowship recipient Hugh Min Nguyen's first poetry collection. This Way to the Sugar was a Lambda Literary Award finalist. His second book of poetry, Not Here, is slated for release in 2018. Sarah Kay Project Voice co-director Sarah Kay has published three books of poems, titled B, No Matter the Wreckage, and the Type. Her fourth book, All Our Wild Wonder, hits store. Shelves in 2018. Terence Hayes Terence Hayes' 2010 collection, Lighthead, won the National Book Award for Poetry, an award for which his 2015 book, How to Be Drawn, was a finalist. Hayes is an Nia, Guggenheim, and MacArthur Fellowship recipient, and his latest book, American Sonnets. For My Past and Future Assassin, is forthcoming in 2018. Carmen Gimenez Smith Carmen Gimenez Smith's memoir, Bring Down the Little Birds, won the 2011 American Book Award. She is the author of four poetry collections, Odalisk in Pieces, The City She Was, Goodbye, Flicker, Poems and Milk and Filth. Her fifth book of poems, Cruel Futures, comes out in 2018. Rupi Kaur Rupi Kaur's first poetry collection, Milk and Honey, hit number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Her second book, The Sun and Her Flowers, won the 2017 Goodreads Choice Award for Best Poetry. Tracy K. Smith Tracy K. Smith's 2011 collection, Life on Mars, won the Pulitzer Prize, so clearly we should all be paying attention to what she has to say. She is the author of two additional poetry collections, The Body's Question and Duende, as well as a memoir, Ordinary Light. Her fourth poetry collection, Wade in the Water, is slated for publication in 2018. Ocean Vuong Ocean Vuong's first full-length collection of poetry, Night Sky with Exit Wounds, has won multiple awards and garnered accolades from no less than the New York Times, The New Yorker, and The Guardian. Jessica Salgado Jessica Salgado has been self-publishing poetry zines for years, but she finally put out her first full-length collection, Corazon, in 2017. She and Angela Aguirre make up the Latina feminist poetry collective known as Chinguna Fire. Noor Unnahar Pakistani-American poet Noor Unnahar has been operating her design and lifestyle blog, Noor's Place, since she was in high school. Her poetry combines words 
photography, and video into multimedia presentations. Unnaher's first poetry collection. Yesterday I Was the Moon, hits store shelves in 2018. Morgan Parker. Morgan Parker is a NIA Fellowship recipient and Pushcart Prize winning. Poet. She has published two collections, Other People's Comfort Keeps Me Up at Night Hand. There are more beautiful things than Beyonce, and has two more books a poetry collection. Called Magical Negro and an as yet untitled work of non-fiction forthcoming in 2019. Amanda Lovelace. Amanda Lovelace's debut collection, The Princess Saves Herself in This. 1. Won the 2016 Goodreads Choice Award for Best Poetry. The follow-up, titled The Witch. Doesn't Burn in This One, is forthcoming in 2018, and Lovelace is at work on a third book. At the time of this writing. Analysia Sotelo. Analysia Sotelo's debut collection became the first ever winner of the Jake Adam York Prize before it appeared in stores. You can get a copy of Virgin at your favorite bookstore in 2018. Tarfaya Faizola. Tarfaya Faizola's debut collection, Seam, won a Vita Award, among other accolades, and her second book of poetry appears to be destined for greatness as well. Registers of Illuminated Villages is forthcoming in 2018. Hope you like this video about 15 poets you need to be reading in 2018 if you enjoyed. This video give a thumbs up, share this video who shares everything with you, comment down your favorite poet, and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon and finally thanks for watching.